Many members of the class of 2012 are beginning their college experience this weekend. But even before the first class, they find themselves caught up in a new uproar over binge drinking and how to fight it. Sandra Hughes has more. University campuses across the country are beginning to show the first signs of life. It's a small little TV. <laughs> it's freshman move-in weekend at Loyola Marymount That's University. Great. It's just so hard to have them grow up. And parents and students have lots to worry about, including... What's it going to be like when your parents are gone and the kids say, Regina, let's go to the party? I, I like to have fun, but I am not, like, I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. Freshman um, Regina Johnson and her parents so have talked about the consequences of binge drinking drinking. But one thing they weren't prepared for, a group of presidents from 100 U.S. colleges and universities saying they want people to consider changing the legal drinking age to 18. They're not reducing drinking. They're simply driving that behavior behind closed doors into the very kinds of locations that are ideal for only one thing, and that one thing is binge drinking. The drinking age varied from state to state. Some said at 18, most at 21, until the 19th. 1980s, when soaring drunk driving deaths led states to mandate the age at 21. There are decades of scientific peer-reviewed studies that make clear that lowering the legal drinking age will result in more deaths, more injuries, more heartache and more carnage on our roads. Amid a backlash of opposition, some of the university presidents said what they really wanted was to spark a debate over the drinking age, because binge drinking on college campuses has become such a problem. I'm looking forward to really having that sense of freedom and responsibility, hopefully keep it under control. Annie's dad likes the idea of lowering the drinking age. Maybe they're a little more supervised in a bar rather than at someone's house and, you know, doing beer bongs and drinking kegs of beer and everything. We were all in college and we know what happened. An idea that's sure to send chills down the spine of most parents. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.